Most hunters look forward to the colorful drive up north to go deer hunting in the fall. But this story isn't about deer hunting. It's about a Michigan man and his family that enjoys fishing as a way of life. It's a tradition that comes as naturally to Mike Schimmick as growing cherries in the cherry capital of the world. We've had cherries uh, since the early 1900s. That's always been part of our family and it's, it's part of this area. This is Leelanau County, Grand Traverse County is the, one of the larger growing areas in the world for tart cherries and that's what we have. Mike also has access to beautiful Glen Lake. According to local legend, National Geographic once named Glen Lake as one of the most beautiful lakes in the world. It's an awe-inspiring sight for sure. On the west side of the lake, the towering Sleeping Bear Dunes are the only thing holding back Lake Michigan. And any local fisherman will tell you, Glen Lake is a great place to catch jumbo perch, especially in the fall. I'd say it's probably about 11 inches. Now perch aren't a particularly difficult fish to catch. You can find them in many Michigan lakes. You don't need a big expensive boat, you don't need fancy fishing equipment. You just need a perch rig and a few dozen minnows. Most of the time, a keeper perches about eight to nine inches, but catching the big perch, the jumbo perch, well, that's a different story. Fall is a great time to find big yellow perch in Michigan lakes, and Glen Lake is a great place to start. Once again, our guide today is Mike Schimmick. He comes from several generations of subsistence fishermen. Growing up, they caught fish as a way of keeping food on the table, and of course, because they also love to fish. Mike has taught his son Sam the ins and outs of pan fish fishing, and his brother Keith rounds out our pro staff today. Glen Lake actually consists of two lakes, Little Glen and Big Glen. Little Glen is where we put in, but we're headed over to Big Glen today. If you're watching the story in December and waiting for first ice, here's a tip. Get yourself over to the lake right now. There's a big concentration of people fishing on the Big Lake for salmon and trout and those type of things, or um, I fish on the, a lot of the inland lakes and there's a lot of lakes where I fish where I'm the only boat on, especially during the week or during the day. And there's a lot of uh, bass and perch and bluegale, those type of fish. Store-bought shrimp, frozen shrimp. I try to get the biggest shrimp possible. Well, this is too small of a piece. This is the size that you really need right there, the biggest possible piece. drop her right on the bottom and see what happens. That's what we're after. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. Nice color to a healthy looking fish. Yeah. I guess we can keep that one. Or yeah. Is that, is that too small? Um, we'll set the bar there. <laughs> Anything bigger than that, and including this, we'll keep it. Okay, full disclosure. We did catch one smaller fish before Sam caught this one, but let me tell you, we hit it just right today. I mean, we hit this day like it was the day you should have been here yesterday. You know what I mean. The medium to big jumbo perch were just flying in the boat. Of course, it helps when you fish with guys who have practically lived on the water all their lives. Pretty fish. This time of the year, the perch are schooling up and they're also, uh, they seem to bite a little bit better this time of the year because they're feeding a little heavier this time of the year. And so they're following the minnows. So the minnows are schooled up in large schools and you just have to find where the minnows are. So that's where the larger perch would be.
and that's four. Do you eat them raw or do you cook them first? <laughs> well, we eat them raw sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good fish. Now, do you keep that size or you throw that size back? I oh, usually throw that size back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's keep it this time though, okay? Yeah, we'll, we'll keep, keep it, it this time. time. All right, go ahead. Yeah, these guys are jokers, but they know where to find the big fish, and they should. They've been fishing together for years. I'm always fishing with brother Mike and you know, always competition who can catch the biggest and the most, and just fun, you know. Look at there. Oh my God. Whoa. Nice going, Sam. Now, Sam, what do you think of that? That's, that's something you like to see. I got to know how big that perch is. Oh, look at this. You guys are really getting into them now. Ah, uh, looks like it's a, te a little over 10 inches. 10 inch? Yeah, okay. 10, 10 and a half. Is that a keeper? Ah, uh, we'll keep them. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think we got it. That's a nice perch on there. Oh, jeez. Oh, Might want to throw that one on the tape measure. All right, we're going to measure that one. That's a jumbo perch right there. <laughs> Sam Shimmick is an excellent fisherman with a great touch when it comes to feeling that light bite of a jumbo perch. Mike told me he could put us on some big perch and that was no fish story. We caught over a hundred perch and kept 40 nice ones in just a couple hours. Now it's your turn. Get up north and enjoy that late fall fishing in Michigan's out of doors. This time of the year, they're